Hello everybody, it's Redbeard Anubis, and welcome back to LCPDFR. We're back again, and today we are driving the Vapid Stanier second generation with red and blue light bar from GTA 5. And uh, we're still using the Liberty Police Service Pack based on Toronto. So we're going to get this patrol started. We're back with uh, Traffic Officer Thomas, and we're in the 2nd District, which is the whole island over here. So pretty much this whole thing, including the International Airport. So we're a traffic unit. We won't be taking any call-outs unless it's like an MBA or maybe a, a person struck by a vehicle, something of that nature. We're looking for the traffic offenses in and around. And normally we don't start off in the 22nd district. Normally we deploy out of the 23rd or 21st. But I figured, what the heck, why not today? Let's change it up. On that note, our number today is going to be 2Tom29. So 2Tom29, go ahead and show me... Single 50, 23. All right, we're going to be in service and uh, available for calls. We're going to see what we can get into. All right, we just had this vehicle right here crash that red light. We're going to be pulling them over and see what their deal is. Just on normal patrol and got someone crashed a red light, almost created an accident. Let's see if they actually pull over. It's going to be a Huntley. Blue in color. I guess we're stopping here. Two times 29. I'm going to be 39 on a blue Huntley. Going to be West Earp Street in Shotler. Vehicle appears to be occupied two times. Let's go out and talk with them. See if they actually hang out. They might flee on us. Hello, sir. I'm uh, Traffic Officer Thomas with the uh, Liberty City Police Department. The reason why I pulled you over today is because you crashed that red back there. Can I see some driver's license registration proof of insurance? And we got people flying around us because we're right here. I mean, as long as they're not back there honking their horns, I don't care. They took out a light pole, but you know, that's just how GTA going to GTA. Oh, Thank you, passenger. Appreciate it. Lester Miranda and Heath Dalton. Heath Dalton's the one we need to worry about, but if uh, one of them has a warrant, then uh, we're going to go from there. Lester Miranda is the passenger. Heath Dalton, Lester Miranda, three citation, valid license. No, both have no active warrants. All right, guys, here's the deal. I am going to be issuing a citation today for that, okay? Yes, yeah, sir, you did go through the red. I was sitting right there at the light. All right, so go ahead and sign here. It's not a mission of guilt. Just saying you can take care of the citations. Failure to yield to a traffic device. You have two weeks from today to either show up in court or pay the fine. Information on how to do so is located on the back. Uh, yep, you need to go downtown. Yep, to courthouse. You know it. All right, sir. Any questions for me? No? All right, drive safe. All right, so we're starting off our day with a citation. Uh, wasn't really planning on that per se, but somebody crashing a red light and almost causing an accident right in front of you, uh, it's a good citation. Uh, definitely something that we want to be mindful of, especially as a traffic unit. That's our main focus today, let's be honest. So 2 times 29, I'm going to be 23 once citation issued. Okay, we're going to be available and see what else we can get into. All right, guys, looks like we got an MBA here. Two times 29, I'm going to be out with signal um, eight. I'm going to be uh, East Cassidy Street. Two vehicles involved. Sir, are you okay? Just trying to drive off. Hit a parked car here. All right. All right, going to have to do this the hard way. Sir, go ahead, step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. Oh, whoa, 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 why are you running? Why are you running? Two, Tom, 29, I got one fleeing, taser deployed. Whoa! Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Get some help down here. Criminal 
There's our guy, he's running. Came into an MVA and this is what we get. We're gonna go after our guy. They're gonna go after the other vehicle that was involved. Our driver shouldn't have got too far here. Two times 29, I have the original uh, driver lost. It's gonna be North Livingston, Livingston Street. Go ahead and put out a bolo for that. All right, we're gonna return to the scene uh, as quick as we can here and figure out. We uh, went to pull him out and stop him for the that. He refused to get out of the vehicle, so we had to order him out at Taser Point. Uh, he tried to run. We ended up pulling the Taser. Soon we deployed the Taser. Someone decided to shoot at us. Uh, cancel. No, we don't need to pull this vehicle over. I thought they found him. And maybe that's where they're going. I have no idea. We're going to head back to the scene here. Okay, vehicles are... They already cleared it out. So, either the buddies came and got the vehicle, which sucks, or, uh... Unit actually was able to get this vehicle impounded. So we had a foot pursuit. I saw him going down there. I'm like, I'm going to go get my car and go after him. Okay, we're going to run the details on this vehicle. This is the vehicle he, that he did hit. It is parked illegally because it's facing the other way. Wow. And it's reported as stolen. So bright side of the deal is we got a uh, stolen vehicle out of it. I'm just going to ignore this guy. Let's not get into another shootout down here. So we've got Liberty towing in route. Where are they trying to go? Uh, Liberty Towing, are you down or up? There they are, they're coming out of there. Let's make sure this car gets towed, it is stolen. Oh my gosh. These tow drivers, man, they're almost as bad as the ambulance drivers. Hey, how you doing? Hello, hello. Thank you, appreciate it. So we got a stolen vehicle off the street, that's good. Uh, at least that came of it. We didn't get taken down, which is good. A uh, guy shooting at us to start with, uh, he got taken down, okay. 2X-Ray 9, I'm going to be clear of that signal 8. I'm going to have an abandoned vehicle on the road. We're going to be uh, south Cuyahoga. All right, let's run some details on this. This is just abandoned as well. So, uh, yep, run the details real quick. See what we got here. Stolen as well. Wow. Okay, we got two stolen vehicles off the street. I'll take that. Hit the pole. Yep. Wow. I'm so. <laughs> I'll work. I'm so glad the uh, drivers in GTA 5 are bad, but they're not this bad. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue here and uh, see what else we can get into. Definitely not expected. Uh, resisting driver tried to run from us. Ended up deploying the taser. We ended up getting into a shootout, which is not great. So, we'll see. This day's already shaping up pretty awesome. All right, vehicle just went through a red right in front of us. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and light them up. We have moved over to the Hope Beach area. Stolen. Stolen vehicle. Occupy times two. Got a lot of cars stolen today. Come 
on. Two times 29. I'm going to be out 39 on a black. Don't remember the name of this vehicle. Black SUV. Going to be East Hall Street. Coming back, a stolen motor vehicle. Really? Okay, so we can't do felony stops, so we're going to walk up with gun drawn. That's the best we can do. Fuck off and die, asshole. It's okay. Two time 29 vehicles taken off. Stand by for location. Suspect is mobile. We're going to be right on Tulsa. Vehicles continuing South Oneida. Vehicle is entering the freeway. Oh man, that was bad. I'm gonna have to write an apology letter for that. Yep. Subject is fleeing. Stand by. All right. We're gonna get him before he gets too far. Rebla, that's it. Okay, let's uh, request that roadblock. Nope, not in the right area. Subject has missed the roadblock. Oh, you city bus. Okay, we're headed back towards Hove Beach. Vehicle is continuing. We're going to be West Crockett. Vehicle just signaled eight. Vehicle is now turning right. Going to be heading right, North Oneida. We're going to be pitting. Pitting at Broker Dukes in Oneida. Get out of the car. Oh, are you kidding me? Pancaked. Pancaked. Really? Oh, man, that's that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, well, that's how that goes. Well, we're over here at Schottler Medical Center, and we just got discharged for our injuries. Luckily, they weren't life-threatening, even though that truck hit us at full force. Uh, that's the problem with trying to get them out. AI just goes berserk. And also, in Ford, the security company helps out, which I'm not sure why. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get a new vehicle and get back into service. Uh, that kind of sucks because we had a good pursuit going there for a basic infraction, which turned out to be a stolen vehicle. Okay. This taxi just cut us off at the intersection. And this vehicle just struck us. Wow. Oh, we're, pu we're pulling them over. For sure. It's going to be a Vincent. Two Tom 29, I'm going to be 39, Red Vincent, West Dillon Street, Cross of Tuscarora. Vehicle occupied one time. Jeez, people are driving insane now. They were already, but they're driving me more insane. Hello, ma'am. The reason why I pulled you over is because you made that turn on green. However, the intersection was not clear. I was just there, and you hit my vehicle. Need to see your driver's license registration proof of insurance. Miss Cooley. All right, we're going to call her in, get a check on her. And uh, we're going to pull her out and get her in the back of the vehicle and do a um, breath test on her. 
possible DUI suspect here. She was all over the road when she turned to. Two citations, expired license, no active warrants. Okay. All right, ma'am, did you know you have an expired license, right? No? All right. Well, go ahead and step out for me. Go ahead and stop right there for me. Got a thing illegal on you that's going to poke me, stick me, piss me off in any way? Can't call out a female officer. You don't need a female officer, honestly, uh, to pat down a female. It's advised to have one just for the sake of having one, but as long as you're in front of dash cam doing it and you don't do anything improper, should be good. All right, found nothing. So we're going to go ahead and detain them, and they're going to get in the vehicle. Come on. I have a feeling that she was drinking and driving. We'll soon find out. It's the only way to do the breath test. I would like to do a field sobriety test, but it doesn't exist. All right, so we're going to go ahead and conduct that breath test. Hit F9 here. She is just under the limit. However, I can still arrest her because she does have alcohol in her system in the way she's driving. So I am going to arrest her for DUI under uh, 0 0.08. That's, that's the way it works on that. So that's the way it's going to happen. All right. We are going to go ahead and uh, question seize the vehicle. She was drinking today. It's enough for her to be impaired. All right, ma'am, go ahead and stop. I'm placing under arrest for driving under the influence. She's just under the limit, but she's still driving impaired. Based on her driving and unable to keep control, that may be the legal limit, but she's still driving that way. So, All right, go ahead and take a seat. You're under arrest for driving under the influence. I'm going to search your vehicle before I tow anything illegal in there that I'm not going to like. No? Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, search her car before we get it towed out of here. Nothing was found inside the vehicle, which is good. We're going to call out a 35 out here, get a tow truck rolling. Liberty Towing will be en route for her Vincent. There's another one. Everybody's driving crazy today. Alrighty. We're going to do this to get out of there real quick. And uh, we're going to take her down to the local precinct, get her booked in for driving under the influence. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens after that. Alright, we are at the back entrance of the station. We're going to go ahead and drop her off. Lady cutting through the alley here. Go ahead and drop her off to the corrections officer, as well as the booking sergeant. And they're going to take custody of her. Excuse me. I think you know how this goes. Don't even twitch. You hear? Yeah, based, based on her hitting me, driving off, uh, her reckless, unable to maintain lanes. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to definitely... Uh, cite her for that and also we're going to get her for the hit and run because she did hit me and then just she didn't stop she continued so that's considered hit and run as well so that's the charges that she's going to get but everybody i hope you guys did enjoy this episode of lcpdfr with the uh toronto police service pack lore friendly eyes uh to liberty police service um we'll see you on the next one take care and have a wonderful wonderful evening